Breaking news coming out of Mojave County, Arizona, ladies and gentlemen. The Arizona Mojave County Board of Supervisors had a vote whether they're going to do a hand ballot count in 2024 or not. Let's get right into it. Really quickly, first, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is Midas Gold Group. They are a second generation veteran family owned gold, silver, and precious metals IRA firm. They are located out of Phoenix, Arizona with customers in all 50 states, Canada, and worldwide. They are partners with Sebastian Gorka himself. Contact them today at MidasGoldGroup.com or call them at 480-360-3000. Mention Vlad from American News Network. Get a bunch of free silver. Let's get right into it. So the vote happened the other day. Let me first get into it. The Mohawk County Board of Supervisors in Arizona had a vote on an agenda item to approve and direct the Mohawk County Election Department to carry out hand tabulation of ballots for the 2024 election. Check this out. Right before they were supposed to go into vote. Arizona Attorney General Chris Myers, who won her election by only 280 votes, sent a letter to the board yesterday threatening prosecution for conducting an illegal hand count and labeling people advising this hand count as bad faith actors. Here's how the vote went. It didn't go through. They wanted to get trust back from their people, from their constituents, the Board of Supervisors in Mohawk County. They wanted to, for the 2024 election, make sure that everything's smooth, no more machines, we're going to do a hand count this time, and we want the people's trust back. But the lady that, that is best friends with their governor, Katie Hobbs, and Katie Hobbs won, barely won, by just a couple of thousand of votes. She ran her own election. She ran it from her basement. She didn't debate. She didn't campaign. She didn't hold rallies, no press conferences, nothing. She ran it from her basement, just like Joe in 2020. But she, at the moment, was Secretary of State. She is best friends with this newly elected Attorney General. And so she threatened, the Attorney General threatened the Board of Supervisors, said, you're going to be, I'm going to charge you with felonies if you do this. Now, you know what this tells me? That all our suspicions are correct. All of our suspicions, all of our questions we're correct. I mean, if everything is so smooth and you won fair and square by 280 votes, why don't you want a hand count? Oh, you don't trust people, but you trust the machines that were made by people. Make it make sense. Ladies and gentlemen, by them doing this, they messed up. They should have just let at least one county. Okay. No, they messed up by exposing themselves. They have exposed themselves and they make our questions, they make our suspicions more correct and more valid. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep you updated. We got some big stuff coming out from Carrie Lake soon. She's doing big things down in Arizona. She's still in the courts. She's still fighting. There's, st there's actually still a pretty big 2020 case in Georgia. I'm going to keep you all updated. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload. Check out the, the links in the description and all the partners and sponsors. God bless you.